three stocks I will be shorting in the month of December, guys. Uh, coming in at number one is ticker symbol UGAZ. This is one thing that ticks me off about using Robinhood uh, to make videos with is that the ticker symbol is not in the company description. So maybe I should email them and suggest it. <laughs> but anyways, guys, what I was mentioning, UGAZ, this is a natural gas ETF, okay? And uh, it has shot to all-time highs very, very rapidly, um, like I said, due to a demand and a price increase in natural gas. So this is why I will be shorting UGAZ right here, the one-year chart. You just have to think about this logically. Okay, so this ETF trades around 40 to 50 maybe $60 at times, and then boom, it shoots up to 250 and then it starts bouncing around and is kind of holding its levels right now around $164. So the point I'm going to make to you here is that no company can triple or quadruple their market cap in one trading day. And if you would have been on the long side of this ETF, you have made some fantastic money. I even watch a YouTube channel here and they've been trading UGAZ and DGAZ. But, uh, you know, the price of natural gas did not appreciate 500% over the past month. And even like I said, the few demand issues that they have do not justify this huge increase in price. This ETF will be trading around 40 or $50 again. So the second stock that I will be shorting uh, for the month of December is General Electric, ticker symbol GE. So I've got the five year chart pulled up on GE guys and back at the, uh, end of 2016 start of 2017 this company has been on a historic collapse I know they've had the dividend cut many many times um, earnings actually most of the time they do good on earnings but the guidance they keep getting guidance cuts over and over and over and over this is one company I know the analysts have pulled for they have pulled all they can pull for GE but there's just nothing salvageable here is that, you know, back when GE was coming up and getting big in the 80s and 90s, of course, I was a child then, but, you know, that is when these big, huge companies were really pushed to diversify and try to get their hands in as many businesses as they possibly could. And for the most part, it works out. Like I said, if you look at Apple or Google or even ExxonMobil, there's an oil company, uh, have reached out and got their hands in lots of different business streams, ends up being a good thing. General Electric is an example of a company who did it all wrong. They got involved with too many things. Uh, they got over diversified and under concentrated and uh, like I said it's trading at 779 now uh, I see it going to five pretty soon and then of course guys the last stock I'll be shorting in December is ticker symbol H E A R turtle beach okay so this is the uh, gaming headset company and turtle beach <laughs> <laughs> you are going to have to explain to me how this company went up thousands of percent of value on decent earnings. Okay, that has been a mystery all through Wall Street pretty much all year. So, guys, uh, back at the start of the year, T Turtle Beach was trading around two and three dollars, a lot spent a lot of time trading under two dollars, and then has just had this historic, uh, you know, like I said, here at one point over 1100 percent. Even here, guys, it traded up as high as $32 at 1,400% return on Turtle Beach. So the long-term shareholders really, really made some nice money. I hope you sold up at those levels or somewhere near it. I hope you sold somewhere over the $20 range. But this company has had decent earnings followed by decent guidance. It does not justify a 1,400% return. Guys, I'm going to tell you, Turtle Beach is going back to $10 a share pretty soon. All right, guys, and I did really briefly want to mention this before I log off today. So yesterday, I finally got my Patreon page done, and I got it launched. Uh, go over there and take a look, guys. I'm going to be posting stuff on Patreon, a um, little bit more interactive stuff. I'm going to be posting some trades. I'm going to be posting some trade alerts. For example, uh, every time I short a stock, I'm probably going to post that on Patreon. I offer some services. Take a look at that. See if you're interested and uh, check it out. But uh, I am going to be now my monetization strategy. I'm going to be doing about half of my videos on YouTube and I'm going to be doing about half of my videos on Patreon. So anyways, that's all I've got for today, guys. Uh, drop me a comment. Tell me what you think about the three shorts 
and uh, tell me if you have any good short ideas because uh, you can never have enough and have a great day everyone.